This is figure 5-1, ventral view of urogenital system of male. So first we would have the scrotum. Uh, the scrotum houses the testes. Uh, it's more identifiable when you're looking at the exterior of the, the fetal pig. Uh, the testes are inside of a cremisteric pouch. The cremisteric pouch the base of the cremisteric pouch is the gubernaculum. Here we have a testes. This is the left testes. The head of the testes to the tail is the epididymis. Sperm matazoa would flow from the testes into the epididymis and then up into the ductus deferens. The ductus deferens, the testicular arteries and veins, form the spermatic cord. The narrow, I guess, hole that the spermatic cord flows through is the seminal vesicles. The ductus deferens will connect to the urethra. At this connection are the seminal vesicles. The urethra will then descend caudally and where it meets the bulbourethral glands, it becomes the penis. The penis then flows to the prepucial or preputial orifice. We also have the urinary bladder. The urinary bladder is fed by the ureters. The ureter goes to the left kidney. The top of the kidney would be the adrenal gland. Also in this view, we're responsible for being able to identify the caudal vena cava the aorta, the umbilical vein, the umbilical arteries, and then the rectum.